Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes educator, and today I am going to talk to you about watermelon. Yeah, everybody's favorite. I get this question all the time. Doc, can I eat the watermelon? Everybody loves watermelon. Now, can you have it? Of course you can. Who said you cannot? Now, before we jump to the video, I want you to fully watch this entire video. Now, when you do that, it really helps our channel to grow. Share it, like it, whatever you want to do with it, but do something about it. All right, so let's get into the video. Watermelon. Watermelon is tasty. Watermelon has a lot of vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, a lot of antioxidants that protects you from cancer, from heart disease, and you name it. Uh, it even helps the athletes to perform better. So it is the greatest fruit you can have during the summertime. Now, when you have diabetes, you're gonna be like, oh, well, that tastes too sweet. And I agree, it tastes sweet. That's why you love it. There are good things and bad things about watermelon. Now, the good thing is, the watermelon is 90, 95% of water. You have to consume a lot of it to be able to really spike your sugar high. Now, for example, one cup of uh, watermelon is only going to give you 12 grams of carbohydrates. One cup of rice will give you 45 grams of carbohydrates. You see the difference? So the volume wise, since the volume is full of water, the sugar content, although is there, it's not super significant unless you eat a lot of it. Now, when we say a lot of it, we are talking about glycemic load, right? Glycemic load is glycemic index times carbohydrates divided by 100. Now, glycemic load of uh, watermelon is low, although glycemic index is high. Again, the same, same thing. Glycemic index is around 70 or 80 for, for watermelon, which can spike your blood sugar. If you, for example, made a watermelon juice, right? So you, you made a watermelon juice, and uh, you just chuck it. Now, you don't really know how much watermelon you had because it's not in, it's not in a real form anymore. Uh, but if you're, when you're eating watermelon in cubes and cuts, uh, then it makes you feel like you're eating a lot, but actually there's not a lot of carb in there. Now, another um, way of actually reducing the spike in the blood sugar, if you're eating watermelon with healthy fats, uh, for example, it could be avocado at breakfast or maybe a salmon at dinner. If you're eating, let's say you're eating a very lean dinner and all you eat is a salmon and, and some very low carb vegetables. Uh, yeah, you can have a uh, watermelon. Uh, that watermelon is not going to, believe it or not, spike your blood sugar as much as if you had the watermelon on an empty stomach. Why? Because the, the fat content in the salmon uh, the the healthy fat will slow down the uh, slow down the absorption and then the watermelon will be mixed with all the other foods so it's not going to spike so what you can have with other fibers so very healthy in summary overall a lot of vitamins and minerals now people who avoid anything and everything that has sugar in it that has carbohydrates in it they're missing a lot uh, some people say, oh, I eat a candy bar that doesn't spike my blood sugar as high. Of course, a candy bar is full of unhealthy fat. You know, when you're eating something fatty, it's not going to spike your blood sugar as fast. It will in five, six hours instead of the, uh, maybe instead of two hours. So that doesn't mean that the candy bar is good for you, right? So some people say, oh, I'd rather eat Snickers than, than a fruit. But that's not good. That is, that, those Snicker is, is the unhealthiest thing that has all the problems that comes with it that can lead to obesity, cancer, inflammation, etc. On the other hand, with the fruit, you are getting all sorts of vitamins and minerals that your body needs to repair itself, to function correctly, to prevent the early aging, and also, most of the time, help as an antioxidant to prevent further cell damage. I hope that helps you guys. Again, my rule of thumb here, have one cup of uh, watermelon if you need to have watermelon. That's gonna give you only 12 to 15 grams of carbs, not too much. Uh, if you exercise, if you have room to eat more, 
go for two cups it's okay as long as it doesn't spike your blood sugar uh, then you should be okay i hope that helps remember to subscribe remember to share we'll see you in the next video guys